Hi, and welcome back to Market Conversations. Today, I want to talk about a few penny stocks that I am currently holding and that you guys should probably keep on your watch list. So if you guys are interested in watching, go ahead and stick around. But before I continue, I just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I also started a Patreon page where like-minded people can talk about stocks, whether that is penny stocks, growth stocks, dividend stocks, cryptocurrencies, and options. I will also be sharing my trades on there as well. I'm very active and it's always better trading the same stocks as a community. So if you guys are down on a stock, I'll be down as well and vice versa. If we're up, we're up together. And it's only 33 cents a day to join the Patreon Discord. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check out my link down below. The first penny stock I'm going to talk about is INND. This stock was recommended to me by a Patreon member. And he told me about it and I looked into it and I decided to get in because I can see this company possibly going to a dollar. It's a long-term hold. So a dollar, we can probably see it by the end of 2022. Let's take a look at the six months daily chart here. So we can see that it was picking up a lot of volume back in January and it hit a high of 0 0.098 before coming back down. And we are just consolidating in this range of 0 0.02 and then 0 0.03. So we are trading in this range for about two weeks now. And then there was news that came out. So let's take a look at that on March 3rd. And they announced that it has completed and updated the FDA medical device registration for a class two hearing aid. The completion of the FDA medical device registration for Interscope's Nexus HD, its newest family of rechargeable hearing aid devices, and as well as its alpha series of hearing aid devices. The FDA medical device registration is one of the last steps needed for Interscope to launch its latest indirect to consumer hearing aid technology with its smartphone app control self-fitting self-adjusting rechargeable hearing aids with built-in professional remote programming and support service so they plan on launching its self-fitting hearing aids on multiple platforms with the upcoming announcements of several retailers and on, on its own renewally revamped website so they are expected to be finished by the end of the month in preparation for the launch Interscope has ramped up its inventory of its self-fitting hearing aids and hearing products for the anticipation of generating over $500,000 to Interscope with sales revenue for the launch. So this is a very positive catalyst. So let's take a look at some other news that happened this year. So this was on February 19th. They announced it has engaged Digimax Global Solutions to raise $15 million in private placement offerings for its current growth and to retire most, if not all, of its remaining convertible debts. Interscope has been in talks with its note holders to negotiate payoff terms for its remaining convertible debt. In that time of payoff, Interscope expects shareholder value to quickly increase. So Interscope Hearing Technologies is a manufacturer and direct-to-consumer distributor of self-fitting FDA-registered hearing aids. So the products are FDA-approved. The private placement will finance Interscope's plan for a national rollout of 1,000 plus points of sale hearing screening retail kiosks, locations as well as fulfilling its current orders of 200 plus locations of its hearing kiosk and hearing product portfolio. If we take a look at their Twitter accounts, in their description, they have OTC Inner Scope Hearing Tech disrupting $10 billion hearing industry to help 60 million plus in North America while self-fitting DTC hearing aids, vitamins, and CBD oil. They launched a YouTube channel introducing CEO Matthew Moore We'll take a quick look at that in a bit. And then February 20th, they announced this. Main kiosks are being built in Wisconsin and shipped directly to retailers 
from the manufacturer, another kiosk version designed by the retailer's request is coming from China and will arrive in Long Beach Harbor next week. So this is the product. On February 19th, they tweeted, IAND wants to acknowledge and address the concerns of shareholders. IAND is working with current investors to minimize that dilution and accelerate over the next few months. We estimate less than 10% of the current OS will be issued and IAND will be debt free from current investors. So those are all positive news. Let's check out this video. I live it, I breathe it, it's in my blood. Um, and I cannot imagine doing anything else, um, to, to be honest. I mean, I love golfing. I love, you know, I have, you know, I love hanging out with my two young kids. Um, but, uh, you know, the passion is really helping the hearing impaired and, and it's a great business. It's a great business out of it, but really the passion is helping the hearing impaired with technology at price points that is, that is much more acceptable on a, on a mass level. Gotcha. So you were forged in the flames of your family's passion, grew up in the industry, and you just, you hit the ground running pretty much when you became an adult. And that's great to hear. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely been one of those. Uh, and the funny thing is I'm one of the only um, third generation in my family that are, that is in hearing aids. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the, all my other family, you know, they're, they, they want to be in fashion. They want to be in IT. They want to be in tech. But hearing aids, they're like, what? I'm like, hey, hearing aids is a great business with a virtually untapped emerging market. I mean, think about it. What other industry is out there that you have in North America, 60 million people that need hearing devices and less than 8 million currently have them. That's wow. 52 million people in North America alone that need devices and aren't getting it. I mean, that's a virtually untapped emerging market. What other industry has that? Nothing else has that out there. So from a business perspective, it is a phenomenal opportunity for us. And, and I mean, again, the passion is to help people, but then also you have to make business out of it. So we have that mixture of, of helping these individuals because you think about it, if a person is, is not hearing well, they're isolating themselves. They're home. They're not socializing with family. They're not, they're not having the most pre I mean, you have to think about the last 10 or 15 years of a person's life is the most precious. And then that is where the people really have to, um, um, enjoy family. And so that is where, you know, if a person is going without hearing loss or going without hearing and they're hearing impaired, I mean, they're missing out their grandkids, maybe great grandkids. I mean, those are the times that I, Interscope, my family, want to bring back to these 52 million people that need devices and are getting it. And that is, again, our passion, my family's passion and our, our mission um, uh, to do that. You can see there that the CEO, Matthew Moore, is very passionate about what he does. This company is still in its early stages, and right now, we can see that it's starting to reverse up and that there's a lot of volume today versus all the other days. So definitely keep this on your watch list. And like I said, I do have a price target of a dollar. So the second penny stock I want to just quickly go over, and that is Global Star. So we can see that today it closed at $1.59 and it went to a high of $2.98. And right now it did bounce off this very strong support of 125. Last week they reported their fourth quarter earnings report. So let's take a quick look at that. CEO David Kagan, he stated 2020 was a very productive year for Global Star as we surpassed a series of milestones in both the satellite business and terrestrial spectrum. Momentum has continued in 2021. The most significant developments for Global Star in recent weeks was Qualcomm. Technologies announcement of their Snapdragon RF system, which includes supports for 3 GPP band and 53. The company also recently announced an alliance with Paul Jacobs company Xcom Labs, where Global Star and Xcom will jointly pursue private network opportunities and dance environments. And he also stated that 2020 brought a record number of activations for our spots products. This has continued in 2021 with sales of outdoor and recreational equipment maintaining 
elevated levels in the social distancing environment. We are pursuing growth through new partnerships, such as with BattleBox, a subscription box service popular with a spot demographic, as well as our partnership with Jeep, which was announced last year. They do have a lot of partnerships, and I have no doubt they will get more this year. I currently only have 500 shares at $1.12, and I plan on getting more as time goes on because I am very bullish on the stock. And that's all I have for you guys. Let me know if you're either holding on to Globalstar or IAND and how many shares you guys have. And do consider joining the Patreon page. I do share my updates and the market gold investor tier. And I am just trying to find people where we can talk about stocks, cryptocurrency, and options and just growing as a community and growing our accounts together. Trading, investing can be lonely and you just want to be able to do it with a community. So do consider joining the Patreon page. Thanks so much. Hi there. If you are interested in helping out the channel, you can sign up for Weeble if you haven't already. They are currently offering two free stocks now. It used to be four. So you don't want to wait until it gets to one free stock or no stocks at all. So you get one free stock when you open up a Weeble account. And when you deposit $100 or more, you get one more free stock, which is valued between $8 and $1,600. And if you are transferring from another brokerage, they will reimburse you the fees up to $100. And you will also receive a complimentary three-month subscription to Level 2 Events NASDAQ Total View from the day you sign up. So guys, what are you waiting for? Two free stocks are waiting for you. Thanks again.